Hang on. Look at the holes. <laughs> I can't even. This is Miss Ruth. She is a teacher from Boom Creek in the little tiny village of Boom Creek, which is in the southern part of Toledo in Belize. I've known her for 15 years, and I just love her, and she's amazing. And wait till you hear some of the things she does just to f fulfill one day in the life of a teacher in Boom Creek. It makes me really appreciate what I do at White River Valley High School because when I look at her, she's inspiration to me. So, Miss Ruth, tell us how your day begins and what time. Okay. I leave my house at 6.15 in the morning to be in Boom Creek Village. School starts at 8 o'clock in the morning until 2.30. And Tell us about the road and what you do to prepare okay, for the during kids. During the rainy season, it rains a lot in that area, and then we have bad roads. They're rough roads, and it has lots of water. It's a swampy area. So when the, if it rains too much and there's lots of water, Miss Alice, who is my assistant teacher, would walk in the water to test how deep it is. We'll come back and check the gypsy if the engine will get wet. If it will not get wet, we drive through the water. And if it won't get wet? I mean, if it does get wet? Then we park the jeep or, or transport on the side, and we walked sometimes three, four miles before we reached the school. How many children are in the school? In your class? My class, I have six students because I have volunteer helpers to take my other classes. How many students all together? 35. And how, isn't it a challenge because of the languages? Tell us about that. Oh, yes, especially the new ones coming in, the kindergarten students, they do not know to speak English. So we have to hire a teacher, which is our volunteer, to come in and someone that speaks Kekchi, Spanish, Creole, and then by the time they reach our class, they'll be able to speak English. And English is the language taught in the schools. School, yes, English is the first language in the school. Have you ever been stranded at the school? Oh, yes. When, it, when it's rainy time, the road is so bad, we get stuck in mud. So we have to stay in the school. We sleep on the floor in the school up to three weeks for a month. And the floors are a nice, cushy floor with no, mattresses. No, they're hard cement floors. We just spread a sheet or a blanket, and that's where we sleep. How many years have you taught? In Living Word School? Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Okay, 32 years. Tell us about it. Okay, Where I've worked see? in um, the Methodist School for two years. There was a vacancy out at the children's home called Acres of Love Children's Home, which had a school. So I went there and I taught for 15 years. When the children were moved to homes, I went to teach in Boom Creek Village at Living Word School for 10 years. And our manager um, decided that it's time to move to somewhere else. And the government took it over. So from 2012 until now, 2017, I'm in that same school, but under the government. So how close are you to retirement? Oh, man, I've passed retirement age from 55. I'll be 57 now. But I'm still in the school. The government has asked me to remain as their principal. And how long do you think you'll stay? Well, I was thinking of quitting this year. My last year, my last month would have been June of this year. And I'm, I'm sure with all those years, you get a good retirement. Oh, no, nothing. Explain. Because to get a pension, you need to work with the government for 10 years or more. And working full with the government, I've only done five years. Even though I've passed retirement age, it does not help. 